You know guys, it's not very often that I upload back to back days. I think I've only done it like two or three times since I've started uploading videos back in 2019. And typically the only reason I would need to do something like this is if something went terribly wrong with Call of Duty, with Infinity Ward, with Activision, and honestly, this is kind of all of the above and some more. And before I get into it, I just wanna say, I know there is a lot of casuals that follow my channel. There's a lot of people that are not too in tuned with the competitive scene or with the CDL. I just wanna let you guys know right now that this video has a bit to do with the CDL, but if you're not interested in the CDL at all, I highly recommend that you still watch the video because it is still something that heavily affects casuals and it's something that I talk about very often on this channel when it comes to Activision and Infinity Ward and the quality of support that goes into this game for how prestigious it's supposed to be and again if you don't follow the CDL or you don't care I'm gonna quickly explain this and then I'll get into the reason why it affects so many different people yesterday was the first day of league matches which is a great thing for the scene and well there was a particular bug that happened in one of the games between optic and rocker and essentially one of the players for the rocker team accidentally pulled out the SAE kill streak and all of the pros have agreed to not use that kill streak in specific and because of that agreement a lot of people choose to not equip that kill streak in their class well in classic infinity ward and mw2 fashion people opted not to equip the kill streak when you start up the game the kill streak is still there and because that itself is a bug whenever you call in that kill streak even if it's by mistake your game starts to freeze your player stops moving you can't even use the kill streak you can't get out of the kill streak you're just standing there frozen with an ipad in your hands this player accidentally called it in it was a mistake well what ended up happening was the optic team ended up winning the match because it was very close to the end of the game of the hard point and obviously the other guys on rocker they were very frustrated about this because there was a small chance for a play to have been made it couldn't have been made because this guy accidentally called in his kill streak and it just froze him whatever side you're on between optic and rocker it doesn't really matter although in my opinion I think optic still had it that's just my opinion but I know there's a lot of explaining going on but I'm almost done I promise after this happened the players ended up complaining to the refs the ref ended up calling for a replay and the people over at optic were obviously frustrated with this because it's not even the fact that the people over at rocker made a mistake by calling in that streak it's the fact that the game itself is so broken that even when people are trying to not use the streak in their class it still ends up showing up in the game when they start even if they didn't equip it and if you mistakenly use it it's also the game's fault that your game starts freezing up and you get into this horrible ass glitch the people over at optic were very frustrated by this because essentially the game itself is screwing them over and so they opted to forfeit in a fit of anger and in an act of protest which i I am very very content with and this is where it starts shifting over to how this affects the casuals and everybody else who is not interested in the CDL. Guys, how many times have I complained about a specific bug or a decision that was made or any other difficulty in this game in particular and how many people have responded with, oh well if you don't like it then don't play it, I don't know why you still complain about it, you still played the game. And I know some people say that in good faith but to the other people that are saying it as some sort of counterpoint. Yeah, enjoy scum scrotum, bitch. They took your advice, and when the game screwed them over in a way that they did not appreciate, and I know a little bit of that frustration lands on the CDL and the refs that made the call, but I think everybody can agree here that that would have never even taken place had the game just functioned properly, right? This is stuff that I talk about on the channel very often. There's many bugs in this game that affect a wide variety of players, a lot of difficulties and issues and decisions that make no fucking sense. We'll sit here and complain about no dead silence and red dots for the casuals that like playing like that. The people on the Warzone end are obviously frustrated with the state of Warzone. You just saw in my last video where I talked about Nate Shot, And even here in the CDL where teams and franchises gotta pay like 25 million to even be in the league all of this excess money just going into activision going into infinity ward the product is still the fucking same as if they weren't even making that amount of money at this point i'm starting to see that it doesn't matter that this game had 3,000 devs it doesn't matter that it needed three years to be made it doesn't matter how many studios were working on it 
it doesn't matter if you call this the most advanced Call of Duty of all time, the game is legitimately broken in certain areas, and some of these areas happen to affect things that are as important as the Call of Duty League, something that is supposed to be pushing the competitive community forward while trying to bring some of the casuals along. To the casuals who don't care about the CDL, that is perfectly fine, it's just the way you feel, there's nothing wrong with that. If Infinity Ward and Activision don't give a flying fuck about the pros, what makes you think they're gonna give a fuck about the casuals? This is just one of the many bugs that affects the competitive community. About a week ago, there was another bug that prevented people from even entering private matches or joining up on their friends, you guys remember this. That also affects the pros as well as the casuals. And when you think of a game like Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2, created by Infinity Ward, making a billion dollars in a couple of days, who knows what they're at now, you would think that maybe, just maybe, some of these bugs should, I don't know, not exist? And this is something that also happened last year in Vanguard in one of the major tournaments in front of thousands of people. There was a bug that happened live after climbing a ladder that prevented you from even shooting your gun. It's kind of the same thing here, and this was in front of 130,000 live viewers. After this happened and after the players forfeited because one, the game is shit and the call was bullshit, that number went from 130,000 viewers down to 80,000 viewers. 50,000 people stopped watching this shit because maybe they disagreed with the call, but more importantly, the game is fucking a lot of people over. I mean, for God's sake, Scump is literally retiring after this game is over because the game sucks so badly, he's done competing. It's the truth, that's the reason why. Yeah, maybe he doesn't really have the passion to compete that much, but the game is just making everything worse. We saw Nadeshot scream at Activision for the bullshit that's happening over on Warzone. Well, guess what happened? After that happened, the developers confirmed that that bug in particular is going to start getting fixed. It's funny how this works. Same thing over here with Scump and his team forfeiting because the game is shit. I can almost guarantee you guys that very soon, we're gonna see that bug in particular get patched up. It's almost as if, if you have a platform and some sort of status in the community, maybe you can get the devs to do some shit differently with the game. Obviously, when it comes to decisions like the red dots and the no dead silence, that's just Infinity Ward eating a bag of dicks for fun. But when it comes to issues and bugs and problems and difficulties, complaining will actually get shit fixed. Doing something like forfeiting in an act of protest, I can 100 million percent get behind some shit like that if it's going to push the game forward in a positive way. I've talked about the countless bugs that are in this game, I've talked about the countless bugs back in Vanguard. Content creators like myself, whether they're bigger or smaller, the chances of us getting anything fixed are very, very, very slim. But this goes back to the point that I made in my last video. I'm very happy seeing other content creators that are a lot bigger, and even organizations like Optic forfeiting their entire match because there's something wrong with the game. Again, obviously some of that came down to the call that they disagreed with, but ultimately none of this would have happened if the game just worked properly. I'll say this again, I am extremely happy that some of these other content creators and even organizations are speaking up are doing things in an act of protest to get these devs and these fat fucks over at Activision off of their asses and doing something that's going to positively affect the game. You don't get to make billions and billions of dollars in a few short days. You don't get to boast about all of this shit going into your game about how it's the most advanced COD of all time with issues that affect so many different communities in your game. You wanna push all of these microtransactions and get people to buy bundles. The LA Thieves skin in the CDL is literally like the Rose skin. That shit is incredibly popular. You can thank the people at the CDL and even LA Thieves for that, and while you're generating all of that money and all of that revenue, why not look at the competitive scene with some fucking integrity or some fucking common sense, fix that shit when people start protesting over there, and then look at the game overall here for the casuals. Really look to all of the problems that we're talking about and fix the shit. You have until February before the next season comes out. That's plenty of time to get off your asses and do something. What is it, like a $300 million league? The game is generating billions and billions of dollars? Put the money into something that actually matters. Fuck Joe Seacott, fuck Bobby Cosby twice with a fucking leaf blower. Put the money into improving the game and improving overall quality and support for everybody in the community. Again, casuals, if you think you're getting screwed over, so are the people on Warzone, so are the people in the CDL, so are the people who are trying to play hardcore, so are the people who tried playing campaign and then got banned because their game crashed. I can't think of a single portion in the community that's playing this game that is not getting 
screwed over. Activision and Infinity Ward, please, for the love of God, do something right. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. What are some of the worst issues you've seen in Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos. And uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodles. It's been a very long time since the weekend. It's been a very long time and I'm weak. It's been a very long time since you've seen me. Don't know why.